4-1 against Arsenal today, but do you know what? I think the the game or the scoreline, the game was a lot more closer than what the the, the scoreline suggested. Would you say that's a fair yeah, enough thing to say? I think that's a fair result. Obviously, we played well in patches, played really well in the second half, but it took us about half an hour to get into the game. So I think overall we're disappointed with the 4-1 scoreline, but mm. so many positives to take from the game. Mm. And I'll move forward on to the Donny game next week. You recently got injured against um, against Birmingham. You were just well off camera. You were yeah. telling me about what happened. We won't put it on camera, but you told me what happened yeah. on on camera. Um, it's quite incredible how you're you're back so quickly. Like you know what what you know just just in a nutshell what, yeah. what actually happened. And um, basically running back towards my own goal. The ball's been played over the top, and and I'm running out. The keeper runs out, and as I've cleared the ball, the keeper goes sort of right through the back of me, and he puts a knee in my back. Um, so a little bit of drama, um, mm. but. You, know, you just get on with it, don't you, and come back playing. And I am looking to playing back this week. So. And you went to hospital, you said? Yeah, I went to hospital straight after the game. The game stopped for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so you just get on with it, don't you? Go mm -hmm. to hospital and then <laughs> try and defy the doctors and then play the week after, then two weeks later. So. Well, to be honest with you, Vic, the way you were running around today, you wouldn't have thought so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how, how long, when did you like, start getting into football. How old were you when you started playing? I started playing football um, when I was about seven. I used to go and watch my dad play five side. He used to take me to watch uh, my local team called Runcor. Mm -hmm. um, then when I was eight, my mum seen an advert in one of the local papers, uh, one of the local shops, sorry, um, just for a local girls team. We went down. There was only about four of us to start off with. Mm -hmm. um, it was called Halton Girls and gradually over the years we ended up building like five, six teams and that's how I got involved. Mm -hmm. Was there a girls football team at your school? Uh, there wasn't, no. Um, no. My sister... Secondary school? Primary school, there wasn't. There wasn't um, me and my sister, my twin sister, asked if we could play on the boys' team, and he wouldn't let us to start off with. Um, but once we started training with them, they were like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll let them play with us. That's fine." <laughs> Secondary school, um, no, we didn't have any girls' teams. Mm -hmm. We just played netball and hockey. Okay. Um, we did try and start one up, but the teachers weren't sort of overly impressed by it, so <laughs> just played the uh, general sports. Cynics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, who who has been probably your biggest influence? Yeah, what what player has sort of shone out for you? You know, in the men's game or ladies' game, who is who um, is the one that's kind of? I'd say sort of like growing up, it's not a player. It's always been my mum and dad because they come and watch mm -hmm. every single game and they transported me around for since I was young. Mm -hmm. um, playing wise, I support Liverpool. Mm -hmm. um, so when you were growing up, who was in, who was like knocking in the goals then, or who was like the main? I sort used of... to like Robbie Fowler as a forward, but I was never a forward, so I don't know why that one came about. <laughs> Um, no, I think it was Robbie Fowler playing for Liverpool, mm -hmm. um, and generally just a lot of players. Now it's Steven Gerrard. Who do you like between? Who do you like better between? Who do you think was a better striker between Owen and Fowler? I think they're both completely different, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think obviously Robbie Fowler um, was when I was younger. Michael Owen's more was more sort of current, um, but they both sort of had good successful careers. So I'm not going to pick between the two of them. Do you remember the first game you ever went to? Liverpool game. Um, I actually haven't been to a lot of the men's games because um, okay. I coach and I play and they always clashed so I haven't actually been to that many men's games mm -hmm. so I think it was against the Wigan because I, I just remember Leighton Baines playing so I definitely know it was Wigan <laughs> so it was only a couple of years ago actually. <laughs> what position, I got, I got, I, you, you're a defender aren't you? Yeah. You're in the same, I, I got the, like, what, what was it, <laughs> but you move forward quite a lot. Or was I just getting confused with your twin? Yeah, you were getting confused with my twin. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. Don't think I moved forward. That's definitely not me. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fullback by trade. Uh -huh. um, but um, second half of the season, I've been playing centre back. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't got, you know, sort of an established centre back at the club for the second half of the season. So I've been asked to do a job there, and, and you get on with it, don't you? So, but fullback by trade, <laughs> right or left. How did Liverpool find you? Um, I was a previous manager, I think it was about three managers ago now, um, when I was about 17. Um, we just got chatting and he sort of said I'd like you to come and play for us. I was at Tranmere at the time mm -hmm. um, and he just said I'd like to come and play for us and, and that sort of how it happened, came in and just played, been it for about five, six years now. Mm -hmm. Do you think these recent Olympics have been good, a good advert for women's football? And what in your eyes do you think needs to be done to take women's football further? I think it was a great advert. I mean, obviously, if you look at the games that were at Wembley, not just the England games, mm -hmm. I mean, they had 70 plus thousand watching a women's game and an Olympics. I was at the Brazil and game. 
you know that's it's fantastic for, yeah. for any level of football whether it be women's or men's it's fantastic level of support so obviously you know there is there is an area there where people want to come and watch so I think that was fantastic and if you looked at our derby game versus Everton we had 1,500 plus fans come and watch mm -hmm. I mean so that's Obviously, being a local derby, we always get big numbers, but even just the atmosphere of a game like that. Mm -hmm. um, moving forward, I think, just needs to be publicised more. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot there, and, and obviously the money side does come into it. And mm -hmm. I think from, from our point of view as, as a Liverpool, as a club, we are looking mm -hmm. to, to look into things like that. And I think next season will be a big season for us as a club. OK. So, FTQ, five top of the questions. <laughs> this is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. I think, um, do you believe there's life on other planets? Do I believe life on other planets? Oh my word. Um, <laughs> it's not a question I've sort of thought about. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> have, have you ever been booked in league football? Yes, I have. Left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Dream goal? Scoring any goal for me, I think. Being a defender, I don't score goals, and if I do, it's usually an own goal, so tapping, I think. <laughs> tapping would do me in the last minute. Tapping, <laughs> definitely. All goals at count, so tapping. A shop you like to buy your clothes. A shop I like to buy my clothes. I'm full of random questions, Vic. I love. Well, I'll, to I'll be give, honest, I I'll work. For, I work for the club, and my the shop that I'm most in at the minute is the Anfield Club shop because I'm back and forward going and getting everyone's kit. So that one at the minute, <laughs> they know me by name. So that one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Vicky, my debut, yeah. uh, Super League player, and honestly, I thanks ever so much for taking the time no, uh, to do this for us. And um, well, that's not how long left now of the season. Yeah, uh, we've got we've got a week off next week, and then we play Donny Bells, and then we're done. Okay. That's it. So we've got one game left. And just because obviously this is something that I'm learning as I'm yeah. as, I, as I'm doing this. When does the next when do the next time you start playing again? Does um, that just how's usually does... April. Right. Okay. So we've got a, a long long break. But, but but will you be doing sort of um, competitions and things in between that time? No. Basically, the season. Well, just I th our season finishes in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's the, f the final of the women's game, um, but up until then, between then and April, there's no there's no league games for our for our season. Obviously, the the North and the South divisions in mm -hmm. the Premier League they're still going because they're a September to they're still in winter football, whereas we're summer. But ours is not until April. Gotcha. Okay. So, it's a long, it's a long, off a long old stretch, isn't yeah. it? No, okay. Wherever we go and play for other clubs is, okay. is a different matter. Well, I think it's a bit pointless saying for me good luck for the rest of the season. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> game, I think. Okay, well, well, let me say good luck for the rest of the little bit of this season yeah, and you. next season and beyond. Thank you very much. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you.